Any examples used are for illustrative purposes only and do not take into account your particular investment objectives, financial situation, or needs, and may not be suitable for all investors. It is not intended to predict the performance of any specific investment and is not a solicitation or recommendation of any investment strategy. Welcome to the Your Family Bank Show with your host, Larry McLean. Larry and the Your Family Bank team seek to educate Americans just like you by providing real strategies for protecting and growing their hard-earned money. Get set for a show full of economic news and financial information affecting your bottom line. Larry wants you to reach the financial freedom you've worked so hard for. So now, let's start the show. Here's Larry McLean. Good afternoon, everyone. Larry McLean, Your Family Bank Show. I would just appreciate you being on the podcast today or on the YouTube uh, channel or listening somehow. So we appreciate it. Either good afternoon or good morning. It is 2 o'clock here uh, in St. Augustine, Florida at the World Golf Village here in our studios. And we appreciate uh, you giving us a listen. Make sure you like us and share our post. Uh, we appreciate that. I've I got my world famous, world famous, ladies and gentlemen, uh, producer uh, Matt on the other side. Matt, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> hey, I'm I'm doing great, Larry. It's either world famous or infamous. You know, take your pick. I know. I mean, hey, when you're good, you're good, buddy. Absolutely, when you're good, you're good. That's for <laughs> sure. So appreciate you, Matt, uh, uh, helping us out every every week, man. Thanks a lot for doing that. So really appreciate it. All right, so let's jump into it. The power of a results in advance retirement plan. How about that? Come on. We're going to do results in advance. So, that I mean, a lot of people say, well, how am I retirement going to end up? Well, we're going to go over that a little bit today and show you and kind of give you an overview of what we're talking about. And now for some financial wisdom. It's time for the quote of the week. The financial wisdom quote of the week is retirement is not the end of the road. It's the beginning of an open highway. And uh, the author of that absolutely is unknown, uh, but I like it. I like it. I like it. It's, it's, it's an open highway as we, as we talk about, right? So how to build a results in advance plan for your retirement. No, step number one. Delete the IRS and minimize your taxes in retirement. <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk about deleting the IRS, uh, Matt. I mean, that's 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 a great thing. If we can delete the IRS, would you agree? <laughs> where where is that button? Uh, I'd, uh, I'd like to push it. We're going to work on it. We're going to work on. We're going to <laughs> we're going to create this new button right here, boy. We're going to make it happen, right? <laughs> so delete the IRS and minimize your taxes in retirement. One of the biggest, you know, things that retired people think about and uh, uh, number one concern is running out of money. And one of the biggest uh, obstacles in retirement is really is is taxes. And so if we can minimize taxes and put more in our pocket, then we're going to think that, you know, our retirement is going to be better. So we're going to get some results in advance. And, I, you know, a little bit as we talk about this, we want to talk about paying taxes is really uh, uh you know, a reality of life. Okay. But, but we don't have to give IRS a tip. Uh, we don't want to tip them. We're going to tip the girl down the street or the guy down the street for a good meal, but we don't want to get IRS a tip. So take advantage of, of one of the both only tax-free investments America's today. So there's only two tax-free investments. Number one is the Roth conversion, right? The Roth IRA always, you know, allows for tax-free growth, uh, tax-free distributions in retirement. You can actually convert funds from other types of retirement accounts into a Roth IRA. In addition uh, to tax-free benefits, there's no required minimum distribution. That's the money that you have to start taking out that Mr. Uncle Sam wants to get paid his taxes, uh, you know, as, as he goes because you didn't pay taxes ahead of time, so now he wants to get paid, right? Well, the great thing about it, we're probably in the lowest tax bracket we're going to be probably in the next couple of years as the uh, Trump tax law expires, um, taxes are probably going to go up. And, you know, if a lot of times I ask people, you know, do you think taxes are going to stay the same, go down or go up? And most people always say they're going to go up because remember we got, what is it, $34 trillion in deficit debt right now that the government has. And that money's got to come from somewhere, ladies and gentlemen. 
And that somewhere is probably you. And the only way they have to raise money is through taxes. So uh, we have to understand that and be prepared for that and minimize our, 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 you know, least amount of taxes that we can do. So maybe, maybe it makes sense to start converting your uh, traditional IRA or 401k or whatever the case may be into a Roth conversion, not maybe doing it all at once, but doing it over a planned period of time where you're going to pay less taxes doing it that way than you would be if you don't do it. So great, great benefit. Uh, that's that's one of the tax-free uh, 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 investments today. The other one is life insurance, the generated tax-free income stream that we can help you invest in a life insurance option that protects your family with a death benefit, but which is the money for dying, you're right? And no one really cares. I mean, we don't like to talk about that part, but it's it's it, it's a likely scenario that you don't die unexpectedly and money invested in the right types of life insurance policies can be withdrawn tax free we call that money for the living right we want to create living benefits for ourselves and that's a way that you can take that money out currently there's a lot of my clients today that over the years we've invested in different types of products one of those products and put money in life insurance has really created huge benefits uh, in a lot of different ways for my clients. One of the ways is being able to take money out tax-free without having to pay taxes on that money, which doesn't affect their 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 federal tax or their state tax or even their Social Security tax. So great way of doing that, and and life insurance is a great way of doing it. A lot of people say, well, life insurance, Larry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, Life insurance are totally different today than what they used to be. Uh, you know, back in the day, if you talk about go all the way back in the 80s, you had A.O. Williams, buy term and invest the difference. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, you should buy term and invest the difference. The problem with that, there's a couple of different problems. One is uh, buy a term and we spent the difference. Uh, so we didn't put the difference in there. The other one is buy a term and we lost the difference. Uh, being we put the money in the market and we actually lost that situation. So today, if you look on the landscape of day, I mean, if you think about, if you think about the financial industry as a whole for a minute and you think about, okay, I, you know, sometimes I talk to my clients, I say, well, I mean, the financial industry is like, like car dealerships, right? I mean, they come up with new models every single year. And a lot of times what somebody purchased, five or 10 years ago is not as good as what's coming out today. And a lot of times we, we do reviews and find out my clients can, can really improve upon, you know, their asset base uh, of something that they bought in the, in, in the past versus something they can do for the future. So that's, that's important to take a look at. We took it, look at the margin tax rates in the United States. And if you're seeing this on YouTube uh, you can of course see, uh, the graphs there, but understand that the current 24% tax bracket was actually 56% in 1960 63. That's 8% higher than twice the current tax rate. So if you're concerned about, you know, rising taxes, give us a call at 904 940 9555, or you can visit it on our website, yourfamilybank.org and get in touch with us so we can help you build a smart tax plan for you and your family during retirement. I, I, here's what I will tell you. we got some of the best uh, CPA firms out there in the business that, you know, dedicate their self of reducing taxes, staying, staying within the law, certainly, and, you know, not doing something, uh, everything is totally legal, but making sure that we're using the tax code to your benefit and to get the most deductions uh, that we possibly can. Uh, the cost of taxes will significantly affect your retirement uh, if you don't have a plan. And the point is, I'm trying to say today is that you have to have a plan. Having a proper estate plan in place is another thing that you can do if, if you're interested in minimize your total tax uh, burden in retirement. We think about that for a second. We talk about estate plan. We look at estate planning. Uh, down the road, we, we don't know where, where the state tax is going to go. At this point, it, it's, it's pretty high, but we never know what it can change. But the other side of the fence is that, you know, I've, I've, I've saw three new clients today. All three clients came from our show. Uh, these happen to be local clients. And um, 
all three clients today uh, that I that I talked to, number one, didn't have any of their legal work done. Uh, each each and every, and they're all all three of these are in their sixties and seventy years old. Okay, uh, all three of them that came in today didn't have didn't have power of attorneys done, didn't have a living will done, didn't have a will, didn't have a trust, didn't have anything in place. Uh, that would create a situation for them to be out of probate, which I don't say probate, it causes uh, you taxes, but without proper planning, it certainly it certainly can create a fee that you're going to pay to attorneys um, uh, to go through probate. And that's 3%, basically in the state of Florida, I can tell you about the state of Florida, the state of Florida is 3% of your total assets. When I say total assets, you add up your house, your car, any retirement accounts, any monies in the bank, any properties that you own, you get a total of that, and they're not going to give you a discount on it. They're going to they're going to value at the top of the line, and three percent of that's what you're going to pay, uh, and your kids are going to have to pay for probate. Don't go through that, you know. Do not go through that. There's 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 so many reasons why you shouldn't go through that, and and here you know with your family bank and first financial education centers. We pride ourselves in giving our clients a really great deep discount in doing their legal work, uh, their their tax preparation and uh, tax planning. And so, if that falls into your situation, you say, well, you know what, Larry, I've been thinking about it, you know, for a while, just haven't done it. Uh, do it, you know, make it make it happen, Captain, and and you know, give us a call. Here, we can help you walk you through that. It doesn't matter if you're. If you're, you know, not in the state of Florida, if you're anywhere listening to this, you certainly can. We can we can work together by Zoom. We do that all the time. We work with clients all over the country. Uh, as far as California, Hawaii, I work with clients in Hawaii uh, just by Zoom. So um, now either either Hawaii people have to get up early or I have to stay up late one or two to talk to them. But anyway, uh, we'll, we'll make that happen for you. So retirement tax strategies for the tax season. Tax day is coming up on April the 15th. There are only two types of tax-free investments. We just talked about that a few minutes ago was uh, Roth IRAs and life insurance. Municipal bonds, some people say, well, municipal bonds. Well, well municipal bonds are not necessarily tax-free, uh, and they are sometimes subject to federal, state, and local taxes, and they can impact your Medicare costs uh, for higher uh, income earners, and they can create uh, a taxable event on your Social Security. So uh, not really totally tax-free, right? The five biggest reasons you should consider a Roth conversion. Number one, tax-free accumulation of wealth. Biggie right there, tax-free accumulation of wealth. Number two, tax-free income in retirement. Protection from future tax increases. No more required minimum distributions. Take what you want when you want. You don't have to take it out if you don't want to take it out and leave a tax-free benefit to your beneficiaries. I mean, why wouldn't you do it, Matt? I mean, good night. If you could, I mean, you got, at the end of the day, you're going to pay taxes one way or the other. You're going to pay it by, by their rate or how, how you want to do it. And I think I'd rather do it myself. How about you? Yeah, that's absolutely right. And, and do it while we're, as you said earlier, paying some of the lowest tax rates that we've paid in absolutely. the history of the country. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, now's the time to act, ladies and gentlemen. Now's the if you've got a qualified IRA or four hundred one k or something, and I mean, you may want to look at converting that. I mean, we can go a plan and show you exactly how to plan to do that. What the tax liability? We'll run the illustrations. We'll run the tax scenarios and show you exactly what you will pay in taxes based upon and what you can save in the future. So, uh, if we do it, you know, that's that's five. But step one is results in advance is delete unnecessary portfolio fees. Here's another area, uh, Matt, that people are overpaying a lot of times in their fees. And we find that most people who call and meet with us do not understand uh, the fees that they are actually paying inside their portfolio and retirement account. So, you know, what if we want to, what, what we want to do is quickly eliminate any excess fees that you're paying, especially on assets that are underperforming. You know, I mean, I mean, the market's up a little bit today uh, and it's been we, we hit a record high this this week. So that's the good news. Right. But the bad news is, is how much is that is lost to fees? And most people do not know that. And I think you need to know that. So let me ask you, 
it's your money. Don't you want to get the most out of it? You know, we had a, a guy that came in earlier today, right before I was sitting down for the show today. You know, his statement with me, I want my money to work hard. I want my money to really make me money. And and, and yes, we do. Uh, but you want it to make at least work as hard as you do, right, as we go through this thing. So you worked hard to earn your money, and you worked harder even to save it. So let us help you put that money into work and start paying you an income and your family can count on during retirement. In most cases, pay it for you for the rest of your life and create a pension-like atmosphere with that money being paid for, for, for again, the rest of your life. We help our clients take advantage of fee-efficient strategies while generating safe, predictable income streams that they can never outlive. And there's a there's a good point there too, Matt. That you know you want to you want to. I mean, if you create an income and only lasts ten years or five years or whatever the case may be, but, but, but that may not be a long enough time. What if you live twenty five years or thirty years even? I mean, a person today is seventy years old could live 30 more years and, and and hit 100. I mean, that's the fastest growing segment of, of the uh, today is age is people, you know, get, uh, living to over 100 years old. So uh, people say, well, I'll never do that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of people that are, li- that are 100 today never thought they would be either. Okay, but here, guess what? Here they are, right? So did you know that you can, you can establish your own personal pension by replacing bonds that you hold with fixed index annuities while also deleting the fees on those bond portfolio in your portfolio. So that bond portion that you're paying fees on to manage, uh, which is probably you know losing money today with the higher interest rates going up, maybe you should take a look of taking that and moving those into a fixed index account, reduce your fees, get some guarantees in place, and maybe even some bonus situations that can, you know, uh, uptick that count and some losses that you may have already taken. So we help our clients completely delete fees from a significant portion of their portfolio, often 50% or more. That's huge by simply replacing underforming bonds in their portfolios, which much, which which are more fee efficient and market efficient investment options. So how, how do we do it? You know what? Give us a call at 904-940-9555. We'll sit down and go through it and show you exactly what we do and how we do it. I think it's worth the call or get on our website, yourfamilybank.org, and put your information in, and 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 our office will contact you. What is an expense ratio, and why does it matter? All of our listeners should ask themselves this important question. How much am I paying in fees on my retirement savings? So if you take your management fees, the expense ratio can be found by performing really a simple calculation. If you take your management fees and divide that by the total investment in the fund, that will really give you exactly what you're paying in fees. And there are some hitting fees and some non-published fees that you can pull out and take a look at, and you can understand exactly what you're paying on your portfolio. And here's what I can tell you. I've, we've done this thousands and thousands and thousands of times. And I can tell you this, just about every time they are paying a lot more in fees than what they anticipated or thought they were paying. So, you know, it just to do that, it, it really would help you understand that. So trying to get results in advance, right? Step three is generate more income from your savings, right? You know, retirement is more about income than it is the size of your nest egg. I mean, you're not living off the size of your nest egg. You're living off the income it produces. And many people who call our office and meet with us, you know, ask us how much they need to have saved in order to have a successful retirement. Well, the reality of that is that the size of your nest egg really doesn't matter nearly as much as how much retirement income you can generate using these hard-earned save dollars and have a plan put in place. Building a smart income plan starts by taking a look at your expected income sources during your retirement. For most people, this includes Social Security, pensions, and personal pensions, which are often established using a sophisticated tool called fixed index annuities. So if you if you don't know what you, you know, to take a look at what you're uh, what you can expect for income and you're getting close to retirement. Let's say you're, you know, five years out, you need to our cert a lot of call the red zone in retirement 
you need to absolutely be in a position to know exactly what you do. And number two is, is taking care of your spouse. You know, I, I, again, I, I, we had a, a client in today, him and his wife. And the main concern with, 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 with this couple was uh, if something happened to him and he says he's going to, he thinks he's going to outlive his wife, which we have no idea which way we'll go first. Right. But his concern was, I want to be able to provide money for my spouse. And the problem with that is that he had a very small pension. Uh, he has Social Security and she has Social Security. Hers was about half of his. And, of course, if something happened to him, uh, she would get the higher of the two Social Security. So she would lose basically $900 a month. And they still had a mortgage. Their mortgage was paying $800 a month. Uh, they had homeowner association of $400 a month. And so if you look at the numbers, there is no way if something happened to him, there is no way that she could survive without selling, downsizing, doing something. Because at the end of the day, the Social Security and the, and, and the investments that they have was not going to generate enough income. So how do we, how do we offset that? Two ways. Number one, one is to uh, get that house paid off as soon as possible. Uh, so we get rid of that eight hundred dollar a month payment. That's a, that's a huge that's a huge amount. I mean, think about this for a second. If I if I, if I throw this to the calculator really quick, as you know, eight hundred dollars a month. Uh, that that's it, ninety six ninety six uh, hundred dollars a year, right? Uh, you would have to have an account. Um, I mean, if you think about that, ninety six hundred dollars. Uh, good night. That's time you know you've got to you've got to have a, a big chunk of change out there to create that that $800 a month at the end of the day so my point is that you know 2 or 300,000 dollars so if we can pay that house off and get rid of that house payment for them that gives our immediate income of over $800 a month so, again, it, it's, it's how to build a smart income plan. Uh, how, do, how do we create, how do we reduce taxes? How do we get those to a minimum? How do we give our, ourselves tax-free monies coming in? How do we get rid of all our debt to give us more uh, cash flow in retirement? So, you got to ask yourself, you know, how much of my hard-earned retirement savings am I willing to risk in the market to lose. There's the other question. You know, what is your risk? I mean, how much how much risk do you want to want to take? Okay, uh, another client came in today. Um, first thing he says, uh, 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 cryptocurrencies, right? I mean that that type of situation, right? And I'm thinking, you know, at the end of the day, wait a minute, you know, let's stay mainstream, right? Uh, I know there's other these 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 companies that have went out of business, and people have lost life savings and hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm I'm not willing to uh, you know take those chances with our clients. We want to make sure that we stay mainstream, right? But how much money are you willing to, to lose? And I, and I say you know uh, if you're going to put money in something that that that's not mainstream, if you will, if you go if you're going to invest in that. I, you know, my, my advice is says, put in there what you're willing to lose. I mean, if you go to Las Vegas, you know, if I go to Las Vegas, I don't go. But if I, if I went to Las Vegas, if I'm going to gamble, I want to have a set amount that I'm going to lose and I'm going to stop, period. Okay. That, that's just who I am. And that's what I would do. But same thing in the market. I mean, you got, you got to understand that what are you willing to lose, you know, if you, if you, if you put money in the market or into some type of investment that's really not, mainstream so uh you know uh, some people argue with that and that's okay everybody's got an opinion uh they're all like noses we all got one uh but at the end of the day uh you know you got to know what you're doing and make sure that you're putting stuff in safe and, and 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 a lot of times guarantees right so what's the main benefits or if if i's protection from the market volatility fixed index annuities provide protection for the market 
volatility because of the annuity is linked to the performance of underlying stock market index. The income is not directly affected by short-term market fluctuations. Uh, this makes them more attractive option for investors who are looking for a steady and reliable income stream. Tax deferred growth means that you that are, any earnings that on the annuity are not subject to taxes until withdrawals are made. Unlike CDs, for instance, I mean, you know, CDs are great are, are up. I know uh, with EL and, and the and the swab side of the fence that we work with here. I mean, we can look at 60 to 70 banks and see what the best rates uh, of CD rates are, too, around the country. But at the same time, that's they're taxable, right? I mean, you have to claim that interest at the end of the year. Whether you spend it or you don't spend it, uh, you, have to, you have to pay taxes on that money, and that's a taxable event. In a tax-deferred growth, such as a fixed-index annuity, you only pay taxes as you spend it, not as you earn it. Big, big difference there. Right. Also, it can create a lifetime income stream. So you don't worry about, uh, you know, breaking your budget and, and enjoy retirement income. You can count on every you can ne never outlive uh, whether you live to be 80, 90 or 100. The annuity company continue to make payment as long as you live. And some people certainly beat the bank on that right at the end of the day. Uh, but you know what? That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Accounts value for, uh, for your beneficiaries. We can help you invest in the right annuity that provides lifetime income for you and your spouse for her life while still providing a death benefit for your beneficiaries if you pass away. Um, the opinion of the financial advisor, professional physics, and fixed index annuities are suitable investments for up to 7% of your portfolio. Typical of our clients are using FIAs for 20 25% of their portfolio and retirement savings, while the rest is allocated to smart risk investments, provide for the opportunity for additional growth. It's time for this week's Problem Solver. Steven is 73. Nancy is just behind him at 70, 71. Uh, they are married and wanted to see their retirement results in advance. So they entered into their golden years with confidence, right? That's where they wanted to be, right? So we are able to, to quickly determine that their investments for retirement had drastically underperformed over the past three years. They were overly invested in bonds, and, and, and Stephen's 401k from work was invested in target date funds that were dragging down the performance of the overall portfolio. In fact, they had lost market value in their retirement portfolio each of the past three years. And they needed help moving forward, and they could stop digging a hole that they were putting themselves in. All right, so the needs for retirement. Stephen and Nancy uh, want more retirement income they can count on, uh, not just the nest egg, but they could be affected by the volatility of the stock market. They are active, healthy. They plan to travel in retirement. They also want to help fund a family vacation once a year with all their kids and grandkids. Um, building memories, that's a great, great way of doing that. Building a smart plan to solve their problems. So we performed a detailed x-ray on their retirement portfolio. We also performed an annuity x-ray on two older annuities that they were still investing in. We helped them to choose a free, efficient management portfolio that matched their actual risk tolerance align their portfolio with smart risk and investments uh, with their overall plan. And we also converted one of their other form annuity into a fixed index annuity that paid them immediately 20% income bonus. You heard that right, 20% income bonus on their money and also included an 8% guaranteed interest roll-up each year they defer to withdrawals. The FIA is from Nationwide. Uh, also includes a 330% participation rate in the underlying index, providing significant potential for market-like gains. What does that mean? Participation rate, 330%. Uh, you've got a guaranteed roll-up at 8%, okay, a 20% bonus. And in the index, you can, you can get a lot higher than that with a 330%. 
participation rate, which is incredible. We also help Stephen and Nancy turn on income uh, with their other existing annuity to double their current retirement income, amount more than their current required minimum distribution, and Stephen just begun to take his minimum distribution. We took charge of their retirement nest egg. We reduced the bond exposure in their portfolio by reducing their bonds with a highly rated fixed index annuity, a structured note ladder, and brokerage uh, CDs. We replaced the mutual funds they held in their portfolio with ETFs to reduce their fees and expenses ratio dramatically. And finally, we reduced the standard deviation of their portfolio is measured by how much risk that they're taking by decreasing the high correlation of their assets and moving a portion of their savings into low risk investments. They still de- delivered a reasonable or higher rate of return than what they were. So why am I telling you that? Because we want to help you prepare for retirement, accessible retirement, number one, but number two, you can kind of, take a crystal ball pretty much and look into the future and find out pretty much, you know, where the income is going to come from. How's that income going to come through? Right. And we can do that. Contact us this week for a complimentary retirement financial consultation. We provide a comprehensive consultation, no cost to our listeners, and there's no obligation. Uh, you only work with us. If it makes sense to you. We're going to help you analyze your financial situation. We'll discover exactly how much you're paying in fees and help you cut unnecessary costs on your IRA, 401k, or other retirement savings. We can also help you with Social Security planning and determining the appropriate time to start taking that benefit. There's another big one there, Matt, in regard to Social Security, uh, just knowing when to take it and who to take, You know, whether it be the spouse or whether it be the husband. Do we, do we take the spouse's first or do we take the husband's first? and let the other one grow and, and get 8% growth each and every year in regards to that. So that's important to our listeners, don't you think? Yeah, definitely so. You know, it's it's uh, better to go in with that, uh, you know, expert plan uh, that uh, someone has, has prepared for you and say, no, l- looking at all the numbers, this is what you should do. It's that results in advance like we've been talking about um, because you're kind of taking a look into the future a little bit and saying this is going to be the best plan for you rather than just, you know, kind of winging it and kind of playing a little bit of a guessing game, throwing stuff at the wall and see what sticks, you know, it's a, that that's not a plan. Uh, you got to get, get the uh, the folks who know what they're doing and know what they're talking about um, to come up with that plan with you and for you specifically. Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, if I want to do something, if I if I want to be working on my house and I want to do something electrical, I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm going to call an electrician. I'm not going to play with that situation, right? I'm not taking that chance, right? If I'm going to, if I'm going to build a house, I'm going to get a contractor in to do that, right? Because, I mean, you've got, I mean, there's a lot of different things that you've got to do in building a house or, or, or building a retirement, if you will. It's, it's kind of, I won't say it's the same, but it's kind of the same. You got, you've got, you've got to have a good foundation, number one, right? And there's a lot of bells and whistles that you can put in the house, but there's a lot of different ways you can structure your retirement at the same time, too. And and so, you know, I tell people, listen, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. Let's look at some options and what fits to you, and you know, what fits in your comfort zone. You know, you know, we want to make sure that you know it's not too long, not too short. And not too hot, not too cold, you know, it fits in all the comfort zones for you, but puts you in a lot better financial situation. And that's what we want to do for our, our clients to do that. So here's a message for our listeners today. If you schedule a no obligation consultation uh, today, if you, when you're hearing this uh, uh, podcast, it's a $1,500 value provided no cost to you. Simply get in touch with us this week so we can help you build your, navigate your financial plan. Give us a call at 904-940-9555 or visit our website, yourfamilybank.org. Uh, put your information in and our office will get in touch with you. Again, you can be anywhere. We, I mean, we can meet by telephone, conference call, or Zoom and and really get some planning done and, and do it from the comfort of your own house or your own office in regards to that. Want to know where your hard-earned money is going? It's time for an inflation demonstration. Groceries costs remain high in 2024. 
In 2022, Matt, prices rose more than they have over the four decades since the great inflation of the 1970s. Boy, but you don't hear that very much on, on the main uh, stream news today. The hair-raising hair climb has finally stopped, but the pain remains. Consumer prices tend to go uh, to go only one way, and that's up. We are still paying 25% more for groceries than we did in 2019. 25%. That's crazy. I mean, if you think about that, 25% uh, uh, in, in, in just five years. A pound of ground beef in December 2019 was $3.86 a pound. In December of 2023, it was $5.21 a pound. Ouch. Wait a minute. A 16-ounce bag of potato chips went from $4.53 to $6.40. Ah, we talking tater chips, buddy. You know, we, we're not talking about big-time <laughs> stuff here. We talking about tater chips, right? Potato the chips, price, though, they're, they're not going to cost you small potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, my friend. It is not. That's no small potatoes, for sure. The price of a 12-ounce can of soda rose almost 64%. From 2019 to 2023, December 23, 60, it went up 64%. You know what? If you go out to eat and you get, and say, as I do, or... I stopped doing, but as I do, I say, you know, what would you like to have a drink? I'll have, I'll have a Diet Coke. That just cost me $5, <laughs> okay? That just cost $5. That's not, I mean, yeah, you get free refills, and I'll, I'll, I may drink two, but it just, I mean, that's $2.50 a drink, if you will. That's expensive, I, I promise you, uh, especially when I, I can remember buying Coke. I mean, I'm, I'm dating myself. But I can remember buying a coat for six cent, a nickel and a penny, my brother. Uh, think about that for a second. That's crazy, right? <laughs> it will cost you just a little bit more than that these days. Just a little bit more today than that, right? All right. So despite the falling uh, inflation rates and low employment, Americans have a dismal outlook on the economy. Food prices being stubbornly high, and it's almost certainly a big reason why Pepsi Cola, uh, which makes not just beverages, Pepsi, Gatorade, uh, Al Alfino water. I, hate, I don't even like that water, but I make that. But the love snacks, Doritos, and oh gosh, Cheetos. I like Cheetos, man. Cheetos, as well as packaged foods, Quaker Oats, raises prices uh, seven quarters in a row. And by 11% just between July and September of the last year, according to AP poll, uh, Associated Press, right? It plans to make more modest hikes in 2024, right? We're talking about Quaker Oats. Uh, I, I mean, I like oatmeal, right? But there's a, there's a lot of difference between uh, lumps in your oatmeal and, and lump, lumps in your stomach and lumps in your breast, I promise you. You got to watch out for the lumps for sure, right? <laughs> there's been... There's been anger and pushback from both consumers and lawmakers, right? Yet food prices keep trickling higher and higher, even in a slower place. So where is this all coming to? Well, we, we said a few minutes ago, the national debt, $34.2 trillion. $34.2 trillion. The current state of the national debt uh, and the federal budget deficit has us and many economists very concerned about the rising taxes and the future of Social Security. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, you, you, you got to understand the money has to come from somewhere, and we're going in this deficit. Uh, and if you go on the uh, the debt clock, you can put that in Google and go to the debt clock and actually watch it, the interest that we're paying. It's, it's unbelievable. Uh, Social Security trust funds are running dry. What you need to know to be prepared for retirement. So uh, CNBC uh, talked about this, and Social Security is the largest federal program in the United States. The mass majority of older Americans receive Social Security benefits, which either partially or, or even fully fund their income for retirement. I, I will tell you a few minutes ago, uh, we just had some clients come in uh, as, as today has been a, 
client day for us here. And most of their retirement income is coming from their social security. You know, that's, that's what, uh, what the, that's a, that's a blessing and a problem at the same time because if one dies, uh, we're losing that Social Security payout. For 2024, the average Social Security check is, is expected to provide $1,900 of monthly income. That's up from $1,848, which in 2023, which is good because we got a 3.2 cost of living adjustment this year for 2024, which aims to help retirees keep place with inflation. Despite this increase, though, the average benefit amount is not very high, providing an annual income of only $22,884. This figure underscores the importance of additional savings to supplement Social Security benefits for a comfortable retirement. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're out there thinking, you know, I got 5, 10, 15 years of retirement, I'll just count on Social Security, you better think a different way. About 97% of Americans age 60 and older either received or will collect Social Security benefits, according to Social Security Administration data. Among the el elderly Social Security benefits, 37% of them are men and 42% of them are women receive at least half of their income from the program, according to 2021 S Social Security Administration report. So... <sighs> You don't want to enter into a plan with Social Security until you do a plan. We anticipate some changes in the coming decades, so it's critically important that you get in touch with us to learn how to maximize your Social Security benefits based upon unique situations and your needs. You want to make sure that you do this. It's This Week in History. Birthday, February the 17th. On this date, 1936, American football player, actor Jim Brown was born. Brown is considered one of the best running backs to play NFL and was named the Pro Bowl uh, every season he played, which he was an amazing, amazing guy. He carried the ball 2,359 times for 12,312 yards and 106 touchdowns. He was named the league's most valuable player three times part of the NFL's 100th anniversary team. Birthday on this date, 1963, American business owner, American professional baseball player, <laughs> I love this, my American basketball player, and he also played baseball, was Michael Jordan was born. I saw him uh, about a year ago where I live. He was playing the golf course. Uh, he, he, he was here. Uh, he stays there on our property w with a friend of his, because, I, of course, we live in St. Augustine, right? But he uh, owns a NASCAR team, a car that r runs in a Daytona 500, and he comes here every year, Daytona 500, and he was playing, he was playing golf out there. And, uh, and from my balcony, I looked out there, and I saw like 10 carts surrounding the 18th green. I'm thinking, what the heck is going on? How many, how many people can you have on, a, on, on the golf? I mean, you can usually only have two carts out there. So I get, I get my, my, uh, I could see him, uh, but as there's a big guy out there. So I got my, I got my binoculars look down and sure enough, it was Michael Jordan out there. He's a lot bigger than you think he is. Uh, if you see him in person for sure. But, uh, <clears throat> uh, first billionaire ever, of uh, the NBA, uh, guy. So Jordan considered to be the best basketball player of all time, finished his career as the NBA most, uh, valuable player, six times, 10 NBA scoring titles, five MP, uh, uh, MVP awards, and 14 NBA All-Star selections. Jordan has been behind the success of Nike Air Jordan sneakers and became the first billionaire in the NFA, in NBA history in 2016. <clears throat> that movie Air, I think it's Air, uh, that came out about Michael Jordan. It's a great movie. I saw that. It's a really, really great movie to if you get a chance to watch that. February the 18th, pop culture on this date, 1957, American music performance uh, and dance show, American Bandstand. Boy, it was, <laughs> was debuted, debuted, debuted on um, ABC television. And, man, I used to watch that. Uh, uh, the show was hosted by Dick Clark, ran for 37 seasons, my gosh, and produced 3,000 episodes. What a great show that was. And then February 19th, historical moment. On this date, 1945, United States Marine 
invaded Iwo Jima. My dad was there uh, during the final phases of World War II. My dad was there and got a letter from the president thanking him for uh, liberating the Philippines. And I have that letter here at my office. The battle lasted five weeks with the U.S. coming out uh, with a victory. Uh, my dad was a Marine Corps uh, DI back in the day. Uh, great, great guy. And uh, one of the great things happened in February was my birthday. My birthday was February the 1st. And Matt, you forgot it. And I know you did. So I'm giving you a, a chance to redeem yourself. Okay. So you missed it, but that's okay. We'll take anything late, my friend, just to let you know. Yeah, but <laughs> that darn postal service, it must have just gotten lost in the mail. I know. And the thing I got was the same color you gave me last year. You oh. know what I'm saying? You got you got to change up the colors a little bit for me. All right? <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. We got a we great show today. Give us a call, 904-940-9555. You know, I'm writing a book, and and I've got the title of it. I've been work I've been working on it for a long time, and the title of it's going to be "I Can Help You If You Let Me." <laughs> I can help you if you let me, right? And I can help you if you call me. All right, so give us a call here nine zero four nine four zero ninety five. We can help you get out of debt, show you how to increase your retirement savings, how to reduce your taxes, get your legal stuff in order. Man, there's so many things, so many parts that need to be taken care of as a puzzle and we can help in every one of those and we can give you some great references we we've we've helped thousands of thousands of thousands of people uh one of the things i'll say knock on wood thank god for it we've never had a client run out of money uh that's a great 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 i think uh attribute to what we do and how we do it so matt it's a pleasure buddy god bless all of you appreciate you like us share us man i mean get us out there um I want this thing to go viral one day, so it takes you guys to, to help us make that happen. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye now. Thanks for listening to the Your Family Bank Show with your host, Larry McLean. You deserve to work with an experienced financial professional who has a track record of helping clients exceed their financial goals by helping them eliminate debt and implementing safe and proven strategies. To schedule your free, no-obligation consultation with Larry, visit yourfamilybank.org. Fixed annuities, including multi-year guaranteed rate annuities, are not designed for short-term investments and may be subject to restrictions, fees, and surrender charges as described in the annuity contract. Guarantees are backed by the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuer.